the Ugandan pavilion entitled Radiance, They Dream in Time, received a special mention at the 59th Venice Biennale. Curator Shaheen Morali introduces the exhibition, and we talk to participating artists Achai Karunan and Colin Sekajugo. Here we are in the initial room of the Ugandan pavilion. It was always meant to be a, a sort of a bookend. You enter a bookend of a room where there's a male figure and a female figure sitting on a very loungy, long sofa. And then you all of a sudden are ushered or ushered in to a space which is much more abstract. But is it really abstract? Is it something else that's going on? The idea was to think about how these two artists, Colin Sakajugo and Achaya Kiranun, could work together, be together, be curated in a space that would make sure that there is some form of balance, both in the figurative work and the possible abstraction or other abstractions which Achaya draws upon. Hi, my name is Achaye Karen and Elizabeth from the geospot that has become Uganda and I work mainly with natural fibres. My art involves the histories and collaborations that underpin the making of art by women, especially artisanal women who are more involved in weaving and twining and stitching that comes out of Uganda. So. In saying that Radiance is calling out to issues of the new state of being within Africa in relation to the environment, not just from a place of policy, but from a place of smart ecology that has existed. It's also coming up to the place and visibility of women, because when you talk about art from Africa, most of the times you will hear about the masters, and you're not going to hear about these amazing people who have been there all along. So Radiance to me, in line with the theme for our pavilion, specifically um, the, um, as suggested by Shaheen Mirali as our curator, speaks to that a reimagination, a reaccess, so to speak, to new knowledge, but not necessarily new knowledge. It's knowledge that has been here and visible, but yet beneath the surface. So there's five set of works that I've done for the theme Radiance specifically, and that is Miel. Miel is the huge work of the person caught up in the spirit of dance, which comes in the forum. This is one care, which translated in Allure means the eye of rain. It is one of the works that I made specifically in line with the theme of Radiance. And as you can see, it, it beguiles the spectator to look at it. And the vision is expanded because it draws you into a vortex of matrices that surround it. It is done in fiber, mainly banana fiber and palm leaves. And raffia, and that is stripped sorghum stems. And what is very intriguing about those is that the balls that are featured are the footballs of Africa, so to speak, because that is how we make the balls that children play with. But also, you find that these are functional products that are made for, this is a winnowing and a serving tray. This is a placemat. This is a mat to be sat on. This is an expanded view of a disc that goes into making of bags. And in expanding this view, even for the artisanal women, my point is to refocus attention to their process, their artwork, and the resource that they've been spending to attach mainly to the functionality that their art making has been subjected to and turn it into an aesthetic on its own. And in the other room, you're going to find little baskets that have turned into maquettes, and I deconstruct with it the idea of edition pieces that comes from a very Western perspective of what that should be. In the inner room, you're going to find the work that is rain, or koto bebino, which is basically denoting sacred rain, and that is that whoever encounters it is choosing the tears they cry, and this time the tears of healing, tears of ecstasy, tears of joy. My name is Colin Sekajugo. I am um, 
one of the two artists that are representing Uganda at the National Pavilion here in Venice. I am going to talk about one of the pieces, actually, the main uh, piece for my uh, collection here, and that is I Own It All, the very large piece as you come into the exhibition. That piece has uh, so many, uh, it's sort of like a multi-dimensional portrayal of the, the post-Ugandan culture today, where the gentleman that you see on that couch is representing um, wealth or affluence. I am mainly inspired by the stock image that is readily available on the internet. So the works that you're seeing on the walls here at this pavilion were specifically made in, um, in line with my understanding or my interpretation of how we black people see ourselves in the stock imagery that is available to us on the internet. And, and I'm using I'm fusing two different materials here, one of them being one that is uh, unique to Uganda, that is the red bark cloth, and, um, and fusing it with traditional materials such as acrylic. And also in the back, in background, I'm using patterns that I created myself um, to symbolize our shared identities as a people. So for example, if I can point to you uh, one of the pieces on the walls, that is the, ladies, the lady eating salad. I think for me, it, it, is a, it, it might come off as cliche that if you want to see um, um, a model or someone that represent wellness, definitely on the internet you will find a lady eating salad. So, um, that's, that particular image was inspired by one of the most photographed uh, models around the world, and that is Rebecca Givens. So that's, that artwork is in, um, in line with uh, our connectedness with the internet today. And I would like to take you to the back room, which we designed this room to, uh, to give the viewer or the audience a sense of belonging in this world of service delivery. I mean, when you walk into that room, you see a dark room filled with different images. Basically, inspired by the stock image again, but these women that you see in that setting represent the call center. So when you look into that room, what you get is service at face value. In this day and age, this is something I think pretty much everyone can relate to.